we've heard that the symptoms for people suffering from the Omicron variant are milder. Now, as Maine CDC Director Dr. Nirav Shah says, milder compared to what? Milder for whom? Complicating that answer is a person's age, underlying conditions, and many more factors. So for some help with that answer, we turn to Dr. Shah and Bates College Professor of Microbiology, Dr. Lori Banks. And it has to do with the places that the virus tends to migrate to in the body and infect. Doctors say COVID infects the entire body. That's why people get body aches, headaches, nausea, and more. But it is no joke. I can tell you from personal experience now that like the body aches are like some of the worst flu symptoms that you've ever had. When we say, you know, milder, it's like not on a ventilator. Kind of a low bar, right? <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, not life threatening. The virus also hones in on certain places, especially the lungs. That's where doctors see a difference between the Omicron and Delta variants. And the Delta variant in particular was thought to affect the lower part of the lungs and the respiratory system and cause disease that was harder to treat and as a result of that, a lot more severe. Omicron is thought to infect the upper part of the lungs and respiratory system just a little bit more, such that the symptoms may be milder. Something that may be milder on a person-to-person -person level doesn't necessarily mean it will translate to fewer hospitalizations and fewer deaths. Doctors say Omicron is more infectious and replicates faster. It's sort of like a, a three-dimensional magnet. And so what we see when those interactions are really tight, it takes fewer viral particles to actually make you sick. You don't want to bet on it just feeling like a really bad cold, and then you end up on a ventilator. Dr. Shaw says during the Omicron surge in December, the main counties with the most deaths were those with lower vaccination rates, like Oxford and Franklin. We're now seeing really clear data suggesting that vaccination rates, particularly low vaccination rates, unfortunately correlate with high death rates. Who's gonna die? So we mentioned Oxford and Franklin counties. Here's how those two compare to the whole state. In Oxford County, nearly 63% of all people are fully vaccinated. That's not including boosters. In Franklin, it's 61%. Somerset is below 60%, you can see on that graph. Now compare that to the coastal counties like Hancock, Lincoln, Knox, Sagadahawk, and York. Those are all over 70%, and Cumberland County is above 83%.